So I ask him, I'm on the water. Oh yes, Fuck yes, great idea, yes. So the other key with that one is you need a little bit of water and otherwise the, the flask will break. And you've got to keep moving it around so that um, yeah. it doesn't break the... If you, if you switch the, the water in like that, it keeps the temperature of the glass low. It uh, keeps the temperature of the gr glass low, but um, still heats up the gases. <coughs> so where's the other one? So, so. So the minute I'll tip that out, I'll have a look at what's actually behind So this one here, Ben's got heating up a flask. Inside the flask is just a little bit of water. And, and the water's there just to stop the glass from cracking. Because while we've got a little bit of water there and it's turning to steam, the temperature cannot get above 100 degrees Celsius. Because as it changes state, the temperature stays the same. So we're heating up the air inside. We're trying to keep the temperature of the flask a little bit under control. So when Ben started, the atmospheric pressure was in that inside of that flask, and, and now we're heating it up. So when we heat up a gas, it expands. So we had a certain volume of air uh, when it was And now this jet ready reckon? About oh, 100 now we're boiling. And now we're starting to, as the, as the temperature of the gas is uh, increased, they're expanding. So that, the actual mass of air in there is decreasing. Yeah, just, keeps, just keeps switching the light. Yeah, we're getting that, mate. We're not far off. So when I cool, when we take that flask off and we cool it suddenly, you see the pressure that the gases will then contract or shrink down. Well, that might be it, Ben. No, let's suck it up. Run the bung out for the full flask. No, no, no. Just done it. Just turn it off for the full. So, as we cool that flask... There we go, boys. You reduce the temperature of the gases. And look how much gas we've got left. So we started with this much gas. We expanded it to the point where it was only that little bit there. So this is a great demonstration to show the impact of gas cooling. So in a comp 